Today we'll be checking out this Anchor Prime Ultra Fast Charging Station. This thing is ultra fast and it's expensive. You can snag it on Amazon for like 169 bucks, but I did manage to get it on a Prime Day sale for around 100. So these things are interesting. Uh, this is a 250 watt total output charging station. And in case you're not aware, that's a lot of wattage. It has four USB-C charging ports and two USB-A, which is really cool for the old legacy folks like myself out there. Uh, the reason I bought this was not to charge my iPhone and all that stuff, because you can do that with pretty much anything these days. It was to charge laptops. Because now that we are on the USB-C standard, it really makes you wonder uh, why we still have power supplies. So let's take a trip back down memory lane. Here's an old Apple PowerBook power supply. This is an old barrel style power supply. Of course, this one is really, really funky. It has this uh, thing in the middle. I'm not sure what that connector is called, but so throughout the years, we've had different power supplies for every kind of laptop that we've ever needed. And it's become quite a pain in the ass. These days you'll find something like this, which is a Dell power supply. This is USB-C and I don't even think I can zoom in far enough, but this is like a 100 watt power supply. So something like this could easily be replaced with something like this. And that's the point of this charging station. However, if you do have like a really hardcore laptop, one that has an actual GPU or multiple processors, you may have a brick like this, this huge power supply that is basically as big as this box. So this power supply is 240 watts. This cannot be replaced by this. So for the sake of simplicity, it makes perfect sense. Get rid of all the power supplies, and if your laptop qualifies, you can charge it with this thing along with all your other stuff. So let's, un let's unbox this without further ado. Uh, okay, got some tabs to pull down here. I will tell you straight up that this is great packaging. It feels extremely thick. And the thing about great packaging is that if a manufacturer is willing to spend money protecting their product and making it look good, usually it's a good product. Man, super thick. And also, that's how you know you didn't buy a fake one. Okay, it's like opening a book. Okay, awesome. This thing is much smaller than I expected. Check that out. Fits in my hand. It's extremely heavy. It feels very well built. And uh, it has great reviews that mention that, so I'm, I'm not surprised by that, but it feels really good. It has this knob on the side. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a really solid, nice knob. And uh, we have some IKEA-style instructions in here. Just kind of shows you some pictures. So here we have the power cord for the unit, of course, and it's wrapped in a nice Velcro strap. The cord feels heavy duty, which is really nice. That's Again, that's how you know that Anchor is not messing around. Um, Anchor's a great brand. I have another multi-charger. It's uh, like a 60 watt or something. That thing's been around the world, still works. I've had it since 2014. And uh, so yeah, I trust Anchor. They make good stuff. Let's go ahead and open up this beautiful thing here. Wow. Man, check that out. So you have the four ports on the front. These do vary uh, as far as the voltage is concerned. I believe the first one is 140 watts and then 100 watts and uh, so on and so forth. And I will show you that on the screen, what they actually are. And then you have these ports on the side. These are for the USB-A connectors, the old school style ports that we have out there that we still need to use for charging. This knob is really nice. It seems like you just, you can turn it or you can push it in. That's how you're going to navigate the menu options on this thing. This thing does have Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth and all kinds of, all kinds of fancy crap. I don't care about that stuff personally. Um, but yeah, if you use the app, I believe you can actually throttle these ports. So if you want to charge your stuff at a certain voltage, 
Uh, you can do that, all kinds of stuff through the app. For me, I'm not going to use that stuff. I really doubt that I will at least. I like how the plug is in the, the center of the rear. It's just a super simple design. And it is a great design. Just look at this thing, it's beautiful. So here we have the screen. It has this nice, beautiful, dark, glossy look to it. And um, at first glance, you know, I'll tell you, the screen looks great. It just looks like the quality of this thing overall is amazing. It has a nice indicator that it's not on Wi-Fi. That's okay for me because I don't need Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to briefly show you the operation here. So when you move the knob, you move this little selector where you can go to each port and you can set port priority, which I believe that may, I think when you're in port priority mode, that basically just means that you'll get more wattage out of these. Um, and then I think you can actually dive down and you can actually change the individual outputs. So it's very intuitive with the way you navigate. I'm going to go to all the way to the end and go to settings. You can set the brightness. Uh, you can set the screen timeout. You can set the mode. This is where things get a little bit complicated. So this is where you need to look at the manual. AI mode is going to be your best bet because it's just going to learn your needs and it's going to charge accordingly. Um, there's a dual laptop mode where you can set it up so that it's charging two laptops at a time. There's a low current mode where you can just charge very slowly to prevent overcharging. Um, but you know, one good thing about this is it has a lot of safety features and hopefully you will never actually dangerously overcharge something. Um, so yeah, pretty cool here. One thing they have here is a screensaver. You cannot use that unless you turn on the Wi-Fi. I am not gonna do that, unfortunately. Uh, I don't want another device on my network. I just want something to charge. Knob orientation, this is so cool. It's driving me nuts uh, the way this is forward, so I'm gonna put it backwards. There we go. See, now it makes sense. Previously, you turn the knob this way down, counterclockwise, and it goes up. All right, so that's awesome. It's very intuitive. It's surprisingly intuitive, actually. And like I said before, you need to uh, go get the manual and you need to check that out. Let me give you a quick preview here. So the manual is pretty extensive. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that explains like the charging modes, the port priority modes and all that stuff. Um, it also shows screenshots of the app. If you install the Anchor app, you can do a lot more customization and control. It's a lot more intuitive than uh, using this thing. I think you have to use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, or, or maybe it's one or the other. I don't know. But like I said, I, I just wanted a good charger, something that charges really fast. And this thing is built like a tank. It's amazing. And I love that it has the USB-A ports on the side. It's just the whole, the whole design of this thing is beautiful. I mean, really, it is. Uh, it, you can also do things like display a clock. You know, it's probably part of the screensaver options that you have. I am not going to use this thing for a clock. But it's cool that I can if I want to. Let's take a look real quick at this handy dandy card that they give you with this unit right here. So this card tells you a lot of information. The most important part is right here. The first port is, has 140 watts max output. Then the next three are all 100 watts max. So you really got to understand what kind of stuff you need to charge. So I can easily charge 100 watts out of this thing. Uh, but one thing that you do need to understand about doing really high voltage charging over USB-C is that if you have a cable that is not very, uh, very good, which I have right here, if you have a cable like this, it's super skinny and cheap, this thing is not going to charge a laptop at the proper voltage. All right, so now I have my beautiful fat new anchor cable plugged in from the charging station to the laptop. And if you look at the screen, it says I'm getting like 30 watts of charging. But uh, what's really interesting is I think that's deceiving because the laptop is currently turned on and Windows doesn't seem to complain at all. So normally if you have an underpowered charger, I believe that Windows would complain about it. But in my case, Let's just uh, check this out. It is charging, as you can see here, it's at 70%. And it seems to be happy. It's not complaining about a, uh, a slow charger or any kind of like voltage that's too low. 
So at this point, this thing seems to be working pretty well. Anyways, thank you for watching. This thing's amazing. If you're interested in buying one, check out the link in the description of this video. Consider subscribing if, the, if you even found this remotely entertaining.